All right, so this is going to be the final part four for the Georgia housing uh, indicator numbers that have come out for November. So all this data, it, it's fine and all, but if you don't necessarily know how to interpret it or how that translates over into what's kind of going on in the market or what that might mean for the future, it doesn't really mean a bunch. So let's dive into that real quick. So for the new listings uh, having decreased in the greater Athens area, to me, that means that less people are starting to put their homes on the market. Well, during usually about November to February time frame usually is not a very busy part of the season anyways, no matter if we're in a buyer's or a seller's market to begin with. Now with uh, the average sales price coming down about 4.5%, we're sitting at about $399,000 price point in the Athens area. Uh, that's, that's a good thing because then that's going to start to allow people to get back into the market for a lower price point. And I've been saying this for a little while that if you have any homes that have sat on the market for longer than 60, 75 days, those are going to be the perfect opportunities for you to come in, write a $30,000, $50,000 below list offer price and see if the sellers are actually motivated. Now, on the flip side of that, if you're a seller and you have a property that's currently listed or you're planning on listing, you need to be aware that if your home starts to sit for that long of a time, you're going to start hitting and getting lowball offers. Uh, so you need to be aware of what your motivations are. Do you have to sell or do you just want to sell? If you have to sell, then maybe you need to start thinking about pricing your home accordingly so that way you can get that done. Obviously, uh, any realtor that's going to be working with you that's actually worth a damn, uh, you know, they won't give up dollars on your home uh, easily. And if they do, then uh, unfortunately, you're working with the wrong realtor. Uh, but the, the intention is find out what your goals are and what your motivations are. And if it's to sell your house quickly, then maybe you have to use a strategy where you're going to price it below market value so that way you can get a lot of activity quickly. If you're fixated on a certain price point, then you just have to be able to realize that you're going to be on the market for a longer period of time. You're going to get a lot of lowball offers. And if your offer does come that hits that magic price point that you want, then yeah, go ahead and make that work. But it all comes down to what your goals and your motivations are. Uh, now, days on market, with having those decreased, that's just going to be kind of uh, natural for everything that's going on. And month supply of inventory is up 33% to four months total. So that means if no new homes came on the market at the rate that homes are currently selling, it would take four months to go through all of that existing inventory. Now, that's important because as we start to transition out of a seller's market, and a seller's market is anything less than six months worth of inventory, so between about five months and seven months worth of inventory, you're going to have a neutral market, and anything above six, seven months is going to be a buyer's market because you're going to have so many more options for everybody else out there. So I hope that gave you some value.